Berkeley, California has made headlines quite a bit in the Trump era. And it's always in the context of uh, university students at Berkeley protesting against conservative speakers. But what happens when Trump supporters go after a liberal bookstore in the same area and threaten pretty extreme violence against that bookstore? Well, uh, that incident recently happened. Interestingly enough, you don't see a lot of coverage of this story in the news. But I thought it was interesting because it provides a different perspective and a different side of the story that you don't often hear about. The video that I'm about to show you is disturbing, but it is what it is. Take a look. I'm a racist because I support our president of this United States of America. Um, yes, basically, yes. You are so ignorant. That is the Commie yes, scum. Basically. Give me a good reason. You're commie scum. Reason. We're going to burn down your bookstore. You know Give me that. A Good reason. Okay, we have you on recorded that you say you're going to burn down our bookstores. Oh my God! You're the ones that are burning books. You're the ones that are trying to re that are trying to get. Yeah, Marx is judgmental pieces of. Shit. You can't tell us how to live. This is America. You're the ones that are burning books. Please leave now. This is America. Leave. You. This is a public thing. Why don't you go in there and start? Please leave now. You're not allowed in our store. Please I already said now. no. I'm not going in any store. So get the out of my face. And this motherfucker wants to fucking do it. Yeah, no. you mother. I was here March 4th, April 15th, April 27th. We ran your stupid asses out of the fucking Berkeley. Trump is gonna get rid of all you fucking pieces. You know that? Fuck all you anti American hey, you know pieces. You know what? Genocide is coming. Your genocide is coming. Your genocide is coming. Their hats say make America great again. Hell yeah. And you can tell that what this really means is make America white again. Uh, you're anti white. You're the one that Okay, see, they believe in freedom, the freedom to burn down your bookstore. Um, that's not freedom. That's uh, and threatening uh, violent action is also a crime. It, 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 so, but of course, they're not sophisticated enough to know that. I mean, they don't know anything. They're so incredibly ignorant. But you can't threaten to burn down somebody's bookstore, and then they go, "Oh, you're the one burning books." Really? When? When? You're the only person threatening to burn anything down was you guys, the entire bookstore, which would also be burning books, by the way. Uh, so, uh, you know, you guys are so intolerant. Uh, that's why you don't want to let people speak. Uh, by the way, Trump's going to get rid of all of you guys, and you're all commie scum, and I'm going to burn you down. Okay. Gee, I can't tell who's the intolerant one. Right. So, um, Keep in mind that that video started with uh, the woman asking, just because we voted for Trump, you think we're racist. And uh, the bookstore employee or owner, I'm not entirely sure, uh, responded back, yeah, pretty much. Yes, basically, yes, that's what she said. And then they lost it. That was when things kind of went nuts. And then later in the video, the man can be seen telling people outside the store that, quote, Trump is going to get rid of all of you pieces of expletive, right? Um, oh, so what do you mean by that? Are you saying that Trump's going to deport brown people? Like, what is he referring to? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, and also, if you're not racist, if you're not racist, what do you care if someone from a different political ideology thinks lowly, you know, thinks that you are? What, who can't? Why do you care so much? Like it's it's interesting that it gets under their skin so much. They get so defensive. Yeah. So um, if you took uh, Trump's going to get rid of you guys uh, in the best possible light, not racial, but just he's going to round up liberals and put them in prison. Or kick them out of the country. Yeah, it sounds like right. a tyrannical government. Yeah, what part of that was freedom again? <laughs> I'm a little confused about your ideology. Um, so then they go around like crying nonstop about Berkeley, right? Mm -hmm. Just all this baby tears uh, that I think when I see it, I think sad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, oh, I've been triggered. They won't let me say things like I'm going to burn your bookstore down and you know and threaten violence against you. Why won't they let me do that? What happened to freedom? Okay, they're weird, angry, violent snowflakes, but still snowflakes. And and there is such a thing as being anti-white. And and they and it's so funny because they accuse people of using racism too lightly, mm -hmm. and then they accuse the other side of being anti-white with. No evidence, right? So what's anti-white? Farrakhan, just the other day gave a speech about how we're gonna go get the white man. And he called them the Satan and, and the satanic Jew and stuff. See, that's anti-white and it's anti-Semitic, okay? Because he said it, he's mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, on the other hand, saying 
hey, I think Donald Trump is racist and I can give you a, a thousand different reasons why. And it's, it, it's not like I don't like him, it's that for example, the Central Park Five and the, and the birther theory and I can go on and on. I have specific reasons why I happen to think mm -hmm. uh, that the things he says at, at a bare minimum have racial undertones. You're anti-white. Well, I didn't say that about Trump because he's white, mm -hmm. but, but you see everything in a racial lens, those, those MAGA guys. So when you criticize them, they go, why'd you call me racist? Look, what I, what I don't understand is why did they feel compelled to show up to, they showed up to the bookstore. It's not as if you know these bookstore owners or employees showed up to their home. These two individuals showed up to the bookstore and just started yelling and just was, were incredibly unhinged. I mean, can you imagine if this happened to, I don't know, a, a religious bookstore? If, if a group of atheists, for instance, showed up to a religious bookstore and, and had this ridiculous unhinged rant. First of all, I would be 100% against it. As an atheist myself, I'd be against it. It's okay for people to have different political views and different political ideologies. Like let's for, for a second, I know we're living in Trump era where everything uh, needs to be this divisive and this disgusting. But for a second, can we take a step back and be decent human beings? Can you imagine if black activists went to a, a conservative or religious bookstore in the middle of Kansas and said, we're gonna burn you down, okay? <laughs> oh, Fox News would talk about it 24 seven. They talk, forget 24 seven, they talk about it for years. Remember when they said they chanted burning down the bookstore of these poor white Christian folks in the middle of Kansas. You know how these people are, right? And then they get, so, Based on your actions and what you do, we call you things that you actually are. And then you assume that we're doing it because you're white. But that's only because you look at everything in a racial way. It's not because you're white, there's literally hundreds of millions of white people in the country. And they're not doing it, you are. If you wanna get the whole Young Turks show every single day, become a member, tytnetwork.com slash join. And once you do, you'll be saying, You know, I'm like a smart person. Or you might say, I think it's weird. Or you might say, oops. No, that won't be that one. It won't be that one. It'll be great, trust me. TYTnetwork.com slash join.